Brethren, let's begin to appreciate the name of the Lord. Let's appreciate him for another beautiful time in his presence. Let's exalt his name for preserving you and I. Let's thank him. Let's thank him. Lord, we have come to say thank you. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for counting us among the living soul. Thank you for another time to worship at your feet. I can hear you, brethren. Can you open your mouth and say sweet things to this father? Can you open your mouth and say sweet things to this man of war? Can you open your mouth and say sweet things to this daddy that is keeping you? Can you open your mouth and say wonderful things to this father that is pampering us? Lord, we are grateful. Daddy, we are grateful. Lord, we are grateful. Lord, we have come to say thank you. Thank you, Wishen of this. Thank you, King of glory. Lord, we exalt your holy name. To you alone be all the praise. To you alone be all the adoration. We return all the praises to you in jesus name we have worshiped amen in jesus name we have worshiped amen i want us to appreciate the name of the lord again for the relationship we have with him let's exalt his name for the salvation of our soul let's thank him because some people are just there they are not aware they, they are not privileged to have the type of relationship we have with god daddy we have come to say thank you we have come to say thank you for the relationship we have with you we have come to say thank you thank you for dying for us on the cross of calvary thank you for the name you've given to us thank you for the power in the name of jesus thank you for the power in the name of jesus thank you father thank you lord jesus to you alone be all the glory in jesus name we have worshipped amen in jesus name we have worshipped amen i want us to quickly open our bibles to the book of daniel chapter 11 verse 32 daniel chapter 11 verse 32 i'll be reading from the new king james uh, version those who do wickedly against the covenant he shall corrupt with flattery but the people who know their god shall be strong and carry out great exploits i don't know at any point where you have violated the covenant i don't know at any point where you have disappointed god let's come to god humbly let's say daddy i am sorry in any way i have violated your covenant in any way i have not lived to the expectation of heaven in any way i have given the devil a legal ground to to confront and destabilize my life daddy i am sorry in any way i have not lived up to the expectation of heaven for my life daddy i am sorry in any way i have toyed with sin in any way i have toyed with disobedience in any way i have not delight heaven lord i am sorry father i am sorry lord i am sorry every legal ground that the enemy has as a result of my attitude, as a result of the sins I've committed, can you tell God you are sorry? Can you tell him you are sorry? Can you tell him you are sorry? In any way I've violated the covenant, in any way I've not lived up to the standard of heaven, Lord, I am sorry. Father, I am sorry because of the blood you shed on the cross of Calvary. I am sorry. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Part B of that uh, Daniel chapter 11 verse 32 B says, But the people who know their God, there is a need for us to know God, brethren. There is a need for us to do more. Let's tell God, Daddy, I want to know you more. Father, I want to know you more. Holy Spirit, I want to know you more. Open your mouth and tell him. Because there is a word here. It says, but the people who know their God shall be strong. For us to be strong, for us to do exploit, for us not to be shaken, for us not to be afraid when others are being uh, uh, scared, then we need to know God more so that the strength that will cause us to do exploits will be made available to us. Daddy, I want to know you more. Can you tell it to God? Father, I want to know you more. As your word will be coming to me today, 
I want to know you more. I want my relationship with you to move to the next level. I want to go to the next level. I want to go deeper and deeper and deeper. I want to dive in and in and in into knowing you more. I want more of you. Holy Spirit, I want more of you. Leko tomba lebo zunkeri ba shato balaba legere bo zundalia. I want more of you. I want more of you. I want to know you more. I want to know you more in the name of Jesus. Father, I want to know you more in all my dealings, in all my dealings on a daily basis. I want to know you more in Jesus name. We have prayed still on that verse where we read. It said those that know their God shall be strong and they will carry out great exploits. Let's tell God, because I want to know you more. Hence, the power to do great exploits I receive today in the name of Jesus. The power to do great exploits in your study. The power to do great exploits in your business. The power to do great exploits in our careers. Let's receive today in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and receive the power to do exploits. Open your mouth and receive the strength. That's supernatural ability to do what others finds difficult to do. That supernatural ability to do exploits. We receive that power today in the name of Jesus. We receive the power. We receive the power to excel in our field, in our areas of businesses. We receive that power. We receive that grace in the name of Jesus. In Jesus name we have prayed. Amen. In Jesus name we have prayed. I want us to quickly open our Bible again to the book of Habakkuk, Habakkuk chapter 3 verse 19. Habakkuk chapter 3 verse 19 says, The Lord God is my strength. He will make my feet like deer's feet and he will make me walk on my high heels. Some version says he will make me walk on my high places. Let's tell it to the Lord. I receive strength to walk in my on my high places. I receive strength to walk in my high places. I receive strength to begin to walk in my high places. The Lord will make my feet like the feet of a deer. Tell it to God that the Lord will make your feet. The Lord will make my feet like a feet or like a feet of a deer, and will begin to walk in our high places in the mighty the name of Jesus. No more roaming around in the valley. Rather, we will begin to walk in our high places from henceforth because we receive the strength from heaven. We will begin to walk in our high places. We will begin to walk in our high places. In the mighty name of Jesus, we will no longer roam around in the valley. We will no longer stay on the same spot. Rather, because we have received strength from heaven, we will begin to walk on our high in our high places in the mighty name of Jesus. We will begin to walk in our high places in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. The, I want us to open our Bible again to Psalm 68 verse 19. Even as we go this week, the Bible says it load each day with benefit. We will no longer lose or misplace our daily benefit. Let's tell it to God. Every day of this week, I take delivery of that which you have in stock for me. In the mighty name of Jesus, on a daily basis as heaven releases the blessing, I take delivery of every blessing, every opportunity, every wonderful relationships you have for me. In the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible said the Lord load each day with benefit. We take the benefit of every day in this week in the name of Jesus and finally Ecclesiastes tells us that moreover the prophet of the land Ecclesiastes chapter 5 verse 19 the new King James version says moreover the prophet of the land is for all the prophet of Nigeria even as uh, within this transition period as power is being changed to another uh, uh, set of people now, the prophet of this land, the prophet of Nigeria belongs to all. So therefore, I take possession of that that belongs to me. 
that which belongs to my family we take possession of it in the name of jesus in jesus name we've prayed amen